Recording. A brain injury. The silent epidemic. The invisible war wound of Afghanistan and Iraq. Every 19 seconds, a brain injury occurs. Changes, alters, or takes a life. The only cure is prevention. What can we do in society? What can anybody do? Is bring more emphasis to prevention. The only cure, awareness, making sure that we're protecting our head. For the purposes of this video, and to put emphasis on the head, I'm putting on my fancy hat. Now, are we all going to walk around every day wearing hats? No, but for the purpose of the video, we're trying to demonstrate how important it is to protect our head. We are one accident away from a brain injury. And with it being the silent epidemic, unfortunately, there's not a lot of understanding. And we need to do more to make sure that people are aware that they can do things in any form or capacity to protect their head. Okay. Here we have one of my volunteers here at Acres of Hope and Aspiration, Chris. As you can notice, Chris sustained an injury to his arm. It's bandaged, and hold up your arm, Chris. Everybody can be able to see the visibility of the bandage. We will know that he probably has some pain. We'll know that maybe he has lack of function. But in society, when you see that bandage, when you see that crutch, when you see that brace, you understand that injury. To our soldier, and we emphasize the invisible war wound of traumatic brain injury and PTSD. As you can see, there's no visible wound, there's no visible scar, there's no visible bandage when a traumatic brain injury occurs. So it's very hard for society to understand that there could be memory problems, there could be difficulty with focus, attention, re-engagement, and many difficulties that individuals who sustain a traumatic brain injury. That's why it's very important that we try to do everything to protect our head. If we can focus now on my friend Chris again here, and Chris has a little friend, and this is Calamity Jane. Calamity Jane is a 75 pound tortoise from Africa, and she is one of the wonderful creatures of rehab here at Acres of Hope and Aspirations. As you notice, when I put my hand here and if she feels threatened, what does she do? She sticks her head inside her shell. Her shell is hard. Her shell is a mechanism of protecting her head. If the shell becomes broken on a tortoise, they will not live, or they'll be very impaired. Just like we all need to, again, put emphasis on protecting our head. A brain injury, once again, happens every 19 seconds. Changes, alters, and takes a life. And all contact sports, and I've played roller derby. I like to ride motorcycles, I like to ride snowmobiles, and I like to ride my bike. Before I do any of those things, I know that I only get one go around with this brain. So, before I do anything dangerous, I'm putting on my helmet. Because you only get one chance to prevent a brain injury, and that's before it happens. So, keep your brain safe, you only get one. And you notice the difference between wearing that helmet and wearing the fancy hat. This is just for looks, this is for protection. And we all get one chance at life, as Amy said, and we want to make sure we are protecting that brain. Because once again, the only cure for brain injury is prevention. And all of us in society need to do more to bring awareness, to do more research once brain injuries occur, on what to do about concussion, what to do in helping people with severe and post-traumatic stress and brain injury collaboration, and also what to do with brain injury as a whole. Education is key. As a mom, as an athlete, as a motorsports enthusiast, and as a nurse, I always protect my brain and my children. And that is one thing that we all need to do to make sure that we protect our brain in everything that we do. No one is without the potential of having a brain injury if there's no protection. So make sure that we all do our say in life protect our brain. And whether you put on your fancy hat or put on or your, your brain bucket, make sure that you're doing everything to protect the lifeline that allows you to function, to live, and to be able to enjoy this video. Thank you.